Hey guys, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm going to do back-to-back -back two reviews. Uh, both are going to be sample reviews. Both are gifts from two of my very dear brothers in fragrance community from Bangladesh. So this particular episode I'm going to do House of Oud. And this is the second of the three samples my dear brother Jitu Mridha Bhai sent me. Very generous sample he gave me. And I've been testing them for some time. Lot of juice actually to test and do the review. So today I'm ready to do this review. I have it on my hand. I can smell it. Uh, this is a very beautiful, uh, fruity, floral, kind of uh, inoffensive fragrance without any oud. So first of all, I'm so sorry I cannot show you the bottles because the bottles are really the uh, highlight of the whole fragrance package. The packaging is just fantastic. I think the prices, I'm not quite sure, but they're expensive because these are niche perfumes. So when I hear the house of oud, I actually expect a lot of oud in the perfume and sometimes it might scare people off, but here I'm here. Here I'm here. <laughs> here I'm, to, I'm uh, going to tell you something different about these perfumes. So the first one I tried what was uh, Dates Delight, I think that's the name, and that was full of date sweetness. You know, like chocolatey sort of a sweetness. A uh, very little oud in that one. I think if is if there was any, but this one particularly, I can tell you for sure there's no oud in this. This is pretty much a fragrance you can smell it in a lot of women's perfume. You know, like. Uh, I cannot think of a particular perfume at this point uh, from the top of my head, but I'll tell you, this is a very known DNA to me. So when I sprayed for the first time, this fragrance wel welcomes me with uh, kind of like a very beautiful, uh, how do I say, is this pear, I think pear slash peach, you know, like either one of these. Peach is uh, one of my favorite notes, it's very uh, fruity, sweet, rich kind of uh, sweetness. When you take a bite on a peach, it's just, uh, it just melts in your mouth. So peach, I love in my Burberry Black. That perfume is one of my favorite peach perfume. This is not as pungent as that. So this is called Breath of Infinite. Sorry, I couldn't tell the name before. Uh, I mean, I didn't tell. Uh, this perfume, I think uh, Breath of Infinite, the name is pretty creative. It's like the name like Breath of God, like Gorilla Perfumes has a fragrance that names like named like this. So this perfume, what I really get when I spray for the first time, I told you that peach and uh, Kind of like a it's a very inoffensive fruity fresh like a juicy kind of opening if you like that note of pear slash peach you're gonna really like it but the perfume i think will be more suitable for women because very floral after a while it's it's like florals like peony i'm not sure about the other florals i smell those sort of a pink slight bouquet of florals very nice spring perfume to be honest in the daytime very inoffensive and not very loud not like Dates Delight. I really like it. I think it has good performance for a fresh, fruity, floral perfume. Uh, but I don't know if it's very expensive. I think I may not get it for myself. Uh, I like this kind of perfume, but I have a lot <laughs> that smells like this or stronger. But the bottle is really pretty. I'll give a picture on the thumbnail, you can see. So overall, this fragrance, uh, the perfume, it's very decent, very lovable. Uh, the performance is good the bottle is really pretty so overall package uh, how much i like it i like it but not really pure love because this fragrance it's a very simplistic sort of a perfume but uh, you can give it to your wife your mother or sister or your friends whoever whatever your case fiance girlfriend they're gonna really like the bottle and the perfume i'm giving it 7.5 out of 10. that is my review let's move on to the second review which is coming from house of jean paul gautier see you soon bye bye